Hello dear students, welcome back. Uh, let's start with new topic. This is my punchline. Whenever I have to come in front of you with new one, new topic and the new uh, uh, videos. So I have to say these things. Because this is the first time. This is the first time with every videos and with every topics. So I'm bound to tell you like this. And so yes, today our topic and our lesson is very unique. Its title is very unique in itself. How it's unique? Yes. Title of this lesson is Landscape of the Soul. Is it possible to create the landscape of a soul? Yes, it is possible. Nathalie has made it possible by representing very, uh, you know, different, very opposite idea here in this lessons. How? This is the story in which uh, Nathalie highlights the highlight the different sense of aesthetic and desire of artists in the western and eastern hemisphere. While uh, the western eyes crave for exact replication and reproduction of life form in a mere physical manner. The artists in East want an East means Asia, Eastern Asian artist want an active and emotional engagement with the craft. Did you get my idea here? Western who want your physical participations to see their pictures and their painting and as far as concern about the Asian and uh, Asian, what did he say? What kya kya they want physical and emotional engagement with the craft that they made. Yes, I will let you know three very important uh, story here and afterward you definitely will understand what, I, what exactly it's saying. Here, now the first story that I will let you know. There was a painter who lived in 18th century and whose name was Budaosi. Okay, a wonderful old tad is told about Budaosi who lived in 19, uh, sorry, <laughs> especially in the 18th century, not in 19. So, he was a great painter of his time. Tang Emperor Zhuangzhou order him to made a painting and that was likely to his last painting. He was the last painting hone wali thi. and yeah, actually thi. As for instructions of the king, he made that uh, painting and hide behind the screen so that only king and the emperor could see. And for a long time, or why did he order and why did he, uh, you know, emperor the, uh, instructed him and order him to make just to add on the palace, wall of palace. Palace ki jo diwaar hai usko decorate karne ke liye, add on karne ke liye waar dees deeta hai ki bhi aap ek painting banayi hai. That was his last painting and uh, and king here appreciated its outer appearance for a long time because there were many things to appreciations for like uh, uh, you know wahan pe mountains bane huye the and uh, there was something like uh, uh, waterfall the and uh, hilly path is there and uh, waterfalls are there. I would like, uh, I would like to tell some uh, that uh, discovering forests, wonderful scene, discovering forests, hilly paths, high mountains, waterfalls and uh, words in flights and uh, the clouds floating in immense, immense skies are there and he tells the king, look sir, let me show you the way, I will show you the way. Come and uh, come accompany with me. We are my with me. My company is with me. And I will show you. Although he was appreciating its outer appearance. But painters, both house, he said that Dear Majesty, My Majesty, Kibhi Mere Maharaj, My Almighty, Come with me, I will show you the way with it. There lives a in the foothill of the mountain. There lives a fairy. Why fairy hai? And there is a cave. Or wahan par ek cave hai. Foothill mein kya hai? Sorry. The foot of the mountain. There is a cave where lives and dwells a spirit. Ki wahan par ek pari rehti hai. And then painter clapped with his hand. And with this clapping of his hand, 
entrance of the cave open and inside was so much beautiful and so splendid it's it was so beautiful that it was impossible to explain through the word it was you know beyond any uh, word that can convey so as he entered to be jaise you know you pehle to humne dekha ki bhi kaise you know उसने अपनी ताली बजाता है और वो जो गुफा है वो खोल जाती है एंड इन साइड द केव वॉज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल इन एनी थिंग यू नो एनी थिंग वर्ड कैन के यू कैन बी दैट वॉज बियॉन्ड बियॉन्ड एनी थिंग्स वर्ड्स कैन कैन बी एंड ही आफ्टर वर्ड ही शाह प्लीज लेट मी शो योर मेजेस्टी द वे पेंटर एंटर द केव बट हैविंग बीन एंटर्ड इन द केव द एंट्रांस ऑफ दैट केव क्लोज बिहाइंड एम and before the astonish the surprise king could move from his place and utter a single word entrance set closed entrance closed ho chuka tha and the painting had vanished from the palace wall not both houses you know not a trace of both houses brush left and at the same time the both house is a painter and the artist has never seen again in this world this is the first story that you must have uh, get the idea that what exactly he want to say although he was appreciating his uh, outer uh, appearance for a long time because there are so many things that he had painted over there but exactly what was there what is its uh, its what is its real meanings that only the artist know and that is why he said that let me show you the way i will direct you what exactly इज देर इन द पेंटिंग मैं आपको दिखाता हूँ कि क्या है देखिए वहाँ पे एक परी रह रही है माउंटेन के नीचे देखो आप वहाँ पे एक गुफा है और उस गुफा में देखिए आप क्या क्या है वहाँ परी रहती है लेकिन जैसे ही वो ताली बजा के वो एंट्रांस में अंदर जाता है वो वो बिहाइंड बिहाइंड दैट वो खत्म हो जाता है एंड दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ पिक्चर ही मेड थ्रो हिज यू नो माइंड से दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ इनर थिंग्स देयर इन inner spiritual conceptual space he had made with that okay and now we will move move ahead such stories are abundant in chinese classical educations and these books you know the books of confucian is one who are full of them these these kind of stories are fully and abundant in the chinese classical education and they it uh, played a vital role in their educations and these are the book which guide the teachers jo teachers ko guide karta hai kar how to direct your student and how to guide your student to go into the right direction and beyond the anecdote and beyond that ki bhai in kahani se hatkar kahani se hatkar they are deeply revealing the spirit revealing of the spirit in which the art consider कंट्रास्टिंग दिस स्टोरी भी इस कहानी से अलग एक देर इज वन मोर पेंटर फेमस पेंटर है ड्रॉ ए पिक्चर ही मेड इट हिमसेल्फ अब उसको इसने खुद बनाया था बट रिफ्यूज टू मेड ए आईज ऑन इट एज ही फियर क्योंकि उसको डर था कि इफ ही मेड आईज ऑन इट इट मे फ्लाई है ना ये कहीं उड़ ना जाए and this is the story of the bit different than the earlier earlier one the previous one here yeah. how he said that uh, ki bhi aage aisa ho gaya to fir kahi ud na jaye main agar iske upar aankh bana di to so this is uh, with an old story from my native flanders and uh, that i find mostly the western you know isme kya mujhe nazar aata hai it representing it is the representative of western painting it is very close to the western painting the way he said ki agar maine iska aankh bana di to kahin udna jaye how is it possible it means that he want to show the people uh, its picture the way you know jaise isne ye yahan pe hamare ko dikha di hai ki bas maine ek yahan pe ye dragon banaya hua hai and but on this dragon i cannot draw a eyes me usne to uski outer appearance dikhani thi ki main aisa bhi bana sakta hu and now when we move into the next one in 15th century and above there was a blacksmith named kenton metsy who loved 
who fell in love with the painter's daughter but painter refused to accept this person to admit him as a son-in-law uh, who is in such professions but one day he sneaked into he secretly get into the painter's studio and made a fly, made a fly on its recent painting over the panel panel pe jo wahan par usne ek painting banayi hui thi usme kya kar diya usne ek makhi bana di and before it before you know before this that he could sweat it away he had realized that what had happened you know before that he had uh, you know isse pehle ki wo isko kya karta yahan se udane ki ya remove karne ki ya hatane ki koshish karta he had realized that what had what had happened he immediately thereupon he immediately admit him as his apprentice apna assistant usko niyukt karta hai and then he married to his uh, beloved and becomes the famous painter of his uh, the time here these two stories okay here in these two stories illustrate what form of uh, art is trying to achieve ki bhi dono kahaniyon mein kya 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 cheeze wo achieve karne ki yahan koshish kar rahe hain every in a story in a every writer in every form of writers ki dono tarah ki jo yahan writers ki jo form hai sorry पेंटर की जो फॉर्म है पेंटिंग बनाने की इज डिफरेंट एंड एवरी वन एंड बोथ बोथ वॉन्ट टू अचीव परफेक्शन इन इट सब अपने आप में वो अपनी अपनी कला में परफेक्शन अचीव करना करना चाहते हैं एंड ए परफेक्ट इलेविजनिस्टिक लाइकनेस इलेविजनिस्टिक लाइकनेस यो मीन्स दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ भ्रम जिसको बोलते हैं दे विल कीप यू यू नो द सम सेंस ऑफ बिलीविंग ऐसा विश्वास आपको दिलाने की कोशिश करते हैं Illusion of Brahm, which Brahm ki tara, and in Europe, this is the kind of painting made in Europe. The essence of inner life and spirit in Asia. Okay, so Asia ki thodi alag hai, jo antrik, bhavnatmak, adhyatmak se judi hi painting painting ko consider karte hai. In the Chinese story, the emperor commissions the painting and appreciate its outer experience for a long time, but only the artist know the way within. Okay, the best artist and actually the any artist can reveal its true meaning to anyone. King may rule over the territory he has conquered, but artist. ही जान सकता है वेदन के भी अंदर कहां कैसे जाया जा सकता है सो हेयर लेट मी शो द वे लेट मी शो द वे द दाओ ए वर्ड वर्ड दैट मीन्स वे पाथ और द मैथड एंड मिस्ट्रीज एंड द मिस्टीरियस वर्क ऑफ यूनिवर्स फिर दाओ के इस शब्द का लेट मी शो द वे का क्या मतलब है रास्ता भी है विधि भी है और ब्रह्मांड के रहस्यों में ही या ब्रह्मांड के रहस्यों भी सो द पेंटिंग इज गॉन यू नो पेंटिंग इज पेंटिंग तो चली गई बट द आर्टिस्ट हैज रीच इट्स कोल और फाइनली हैज अचीव हिज कोल बियॉन्ड एनी मेटीरियल एक्सपीरियंस This is the kind of uh, you know किसी भी भौतिक प्रतीतों से जो परे होती है A classical classical Chinese painting is not meant to reproduce an actual view, as would a Western European figurative painting. The Chinese, you know, the like a uh, European figurative प्रतीतात्मक, you know, figurative एक तरह की जो लगभग प्रतीक तक ही यू नो यहां पे नजर आती है बिकॉज दे दे हैव अ सिंगल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू टू सी द पिक्चर एंड द पेंटिंग तो लाइक वी उनकी तरह चाइनीज क्लासिकल जो पेंटर है दे डिड नॉट ड्रॉ द पिक्चर दे डिड नॉट मेक अ पेंटिंग 
इन इट्स रियल फॉर्म लाइक वास्तविक एक तरह भी वो कोई वास्तविक प्रतिबिंब तैयार नहीं करते हैं लाइक वेस्टर्न फिगरेटिव पेंटिंग पश्चिमी या पाश्चात्य प्रतीकतात्मक चित्रण की भांति चाइनीज पेंटर या चाइनीज जो भूदृश्य है वो एक वास्तविक व्यू का निर्माण नहीं करता या प्रोड्यूस नहीं करता है वेयर इज द यूरोपियन वॉन्ट टू वॉरो वेयर इज द यूरोपियन पेंटर वॉन्ट यू टू वॉरो हिज आइस दे वॉन्ट टू वॉरो हिज आइस वही उसकी वो आंखें लेना चाहता है लुक टू लुक एट ए पर्टिकुलर लैंडस्केप एग्जैक्टली ही सॉ इट एंड दे वॉन्ट टू वॉरो हिज आइस बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट टू शो द पिक्चर द सेम वे एज इन ए स्पेसिफिक एंगल्स एक स्पेसिफिक एंगल से वो दिखाना चाहते हैं बट चाइनीज पेंटर्स डजेंट है सेम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड ए सिंगल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड हिज लैंडस्केप इज नॉट रियल वन एंड यू कूड एंटर एंड यू कूड कूड नॉट चूज ए सिंगल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू टू एंटर इन दैट पोइट्री एंड टू सी दिस पिक्चर एंड दिस पेंटिंग एक्चुअली यू कैन एंटर एंटर इन इट फ्रॉम एनी पॉइंट then you can travel in at in it and then artist they are the artist create a path for you uh, your eyes to travel up and down back and forth forth and back and then very leisurely moment you can come back and this is of slowly opening one section of the painting it's actually this is even more true in case of the scroll scroll jo hota hai apne computer mein dekha ki upar niche upar niche so that be he had made a bay to travel into that point in that uh, painting so chinese painter didn't have and doesn't have uh, the single point of view and the sun is a single way and to see uh, any painting in a single uh, uh, the frame they made a uh, you know scroll like things in which you can travel from any portions and can can come back from many other portions bhi kisi bhi portions mein aap andar enter kar sakte ho and you can go uh, you know according to your own pace and uh, from which portion you want to see and uh, from where and from which portion you want to come back and uh, you know fold karke mano ki bhi ek ko aap dekho फिर दूसरे को उसको फोल्ड करके अगले में चले जाओ एंड देन स्लोली कम बैक द सेम इज हेयर विद दिस विद दिस पेंटिंग नाउ वी वी कैन से हेयर द चाइनीज द पेंटर डज नॉट वांट यू टू वोरो हिज आइज इट डज नॉट वोरो वो उसकी वो आंखें नहीं चुराना चाहता है टू सी दिस एक्चुअली दे वॉन्ट द पार्टिसिपेशन एंड दिस पार्टिसिपेशन शुड नॉट बी ए फिजिकल वन दे वॉन्ट यूर फिजिकल एंड मेंटल पार्टिसिपेशन okay he wants uh, you to enter his mind because their landscape is in a one spiritual and a conceptual space so that's it about uh, the sofa ki bhi actually the both themes both idea and uh, actually the both stream are very opposite to each other here chinese painter the asian painters are bit different in term of uh, you know how they made pictures and made uh, the painting and how one can get into that and how he can uh, see and he can travel up and down and can come back with the laser lay moment and can go and come with their uh, own pace so it's different one that uh, one person is they are who draw the pictures and who draw the painting just to see and show them its outer appearance and as far as concern about the asian they reproduce and they show the you know one spiritual conceptual space for their painting that's it that was uh, something about uh, landscape of uh, the soul